But yeah, talking about that bot lane, because we would, we discussed this when we, talk, we spoke about Guardians having these two substitutes for this evening. And we said, oh, well, they're not really going to be playing around the bot lane that much anyway. It's probably going to be more top and mid side. But actually, the Zeri Yumi combo was impactful. Uh, so why don't mm -hmm. you talk to us a little bit about that, Sol? Yeah, I mean, we, we will jump into that. I do want to just say uh, thanks, Salt, because I and actually cut at canvas all because I was going to say, like, I wanted you guys to be like, oh, no, the Guardians definitely 100% won that game. And then maybe everyone in chat would be like, calm down. Uh, but now that you're like, you're both like, oh, it could have gone either way. Then it's like, chat's going to just, God, see, I, to I told you that they could even hear Guys, it was the jungle death. Stunner doesn't yeah. know how to play the jungle. <laughs> the race world first events we've seen a lot of teams now coming up with their own uh, production we've seen bdgg a version with that you know over having their german production obviously echoes and limits and and um you know countless others how has it been for you guys otk coming up creating your your i guess full organization and then kind of supporting this event are you guys happy with what you've been able to pull off so far? Are you are you happy with this first attempt? They are gonna want to try and aim in that top four just to mentally say, "Hey, I'm I'm here to play in this final. I'm here to show up and show out." But speaking of uh, showing out, we are gonna be going to a quick break in a moment. Before we do, I want to say thank you uh, to our sponsors for this event. So thank you to Amazon, University Esports, Twitch Student, and Intel for helping support this event and put it all together. Support the prize pool, support the players, and get them up on this broadcast, get them up on this big international stage here. Uh, but we are going to be running to a break. Counterfeit, I'll see you in a moment. Chat, I'll see, you're looking great today. I'll see you in a moment. Yeah, now this is that shrine round that I was mentioning earlier, and this is where the players are going to really have an option to roll for their BIS items if they want them. But at the same time, how much gold do you have? Do you really want to roll it down? D uh, double 61 here, only having seven gold, so he's really got to be selective with what he's trying to flesh out. What do you think he's searching for here, Panda? Items for Nami or items for Silas? Is now on him a bad sign for Shirimi. But Dash is off and Dash is back in again. Luckily, the Bard did uh, got Zephyr on the side of Celio. So uh, Shirimi's Varus was able to just stay in combat that little bit longer. But now it's Varus against the world and it's not going to be enough. Dies of Yasuo. Celio is going to take off first lobby. Normally, I would say yes, but it's thinner on the Resto Shaman. And I played with him in a miss a ton of scythe with the Kyrian Resto Shaman. He, I'm telling you right now, he's going to pop off. I don't care about Ash and Hallow. He's going to prove us all wrong, okay? Trust me. And Sheesh now, I mean, Eddie's going to be just getting absolutely trucked by this boss. He's not on that warrior that can actually make use of that spell reflect to try and redirect some of the boss damage here. At least avoid taking that. And so... Andy's really going to have his work cut out for him. Thanner as well, having to desperately heal Andy through this boss. But Mordretha here dropping down to 64% on the side of Sheesh. Evolving here, only 20% left on Mordretha. I think Evolving are actually going to be able to do it, even with this additional 10 seconds. They've got all their trash percent. They managed to... <gasps> oh no, Aisha goes down again, so add another 5 seconds to the timer. Alex is taking so much damage with the physical damage increase on him. With the healer dead, they're not getting the battle rest off because they need to use the engineer oh, rest. Alex is just dropping so low, he strikes around. This beam actually is saving his life here, this dark devastation. Yeah, so this is, yeah, like you're saying, I think Archon Zealot getting the charge in as well, getting the plus one attack. Six more gates come down. I feel like that's going to be it. Is it going to be some kind of timing attack here? Dude, Nibs oh, in, he's in the future. Yeah, Nibs playing, he's, he's on minute eight of this six minute game. Like he's... <laughs> <laughs> the, the Nibs game is pre recorded. I'm trouble. It live. No, yeah. inversion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's going for it. Oh, here we okay, go. here we go. This is gonna be it. No, it's not. Nope. <laughs> it's not gonna be it. <laughs> but so loses some investors as a result. 